morning guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in again. So today we actually have a pretty good video, I'm pretty excited to show you guys. So we actually have a, a new car that's being welcomed to the channel. This new car, something that's very near and dear to my heart. It's a car that I had as a kid, as a little RC car. But also something that I used to watch on TV. Something that's pretty cool and pretty affordable to be able to get. Be able to modify and rebuild back to its former glory the way that it deserves to be. So without taking up too much of your time, let's go into a little montage of me picking it up and dropping it off. We have a 2002 Bug Eye WRX STI, as you can see here. It's a pretty neat vehicle. By I say neat, I mean absolutely demolished. So, the, the story behind this car is actually pretty cool. Um, this guy bought it back in 2016, I believe. He bought it for 12 grand back then. Back when uh, these weren't really worth much. And again, these still aren't the most sought after. WX's or even STI's for that matter, uh, but it's something that I, that's a car that I love. So the kind of the story behind the car is that this guy bought it, uh, he was racing it around one day and uh, when he was racing it around it actually blew a bottom end bearing, uh, which is pretty common for these things, and from there he just parked it up, it just sat for ages and not bothered about it, which is fair enough, like repairing a 207, which is what these are factory fitted with, is pretty pretty dear as any engine rebuild kind of is. So it kind of sat there, and as it sat there, oh and I'll show you a picture of it in its former glory, but as it sat there, the area was actually recently just hit with massive floods, and these floods were bad. It rode off a lot of houses, a lot of cars were destroyed in the process, and on top of that, this car was actually caught in that. And as you can see, so this car was actually chained up to a tree by this little support bracket for the core support for where the radiator goes. And that is the only reason this car survived. We've got a few other bits and pieces that kind of washed away with it, but that that post was actually the one that was chained to the tree, which saved this, this car from being swept away. It didn't save it in terms of uh, damage, it definitely got its fair share. So if you come along here, you can see obviously the windscreen shattered, and there's a few decent little dings on the front. On the side, it got hit by a log, he said. He said a log actually hit the side of it. And where the log has pushed it across, the log has actually pushed it into a caravan here. Oh, and also here on the, along this door. You can see how, how bung up that is. Yeah, so it's had a bit of a hard life. And that's why I thought it would be pretty good for me to get it pretty fitting. It definitely is going to be a bit of a mission. So I'm definitely keen to crack onto it. Now, I don't have a lot of time today to kind of work on this. 
last night. I spent the majority of the night kind of pulling all these parts out and sorting them out, pulling all these parts out. But now I'm going to go into me uh, sweeping out the car um, and then once it's swept out I'm going to start hitting it with an orbital sander, cut that core support out to get a new one for that and then yeah hit it with an orbital sander and chuck some primer on it to at least stop some of the rust that's going to start popping through. So enjoy! Sadly, the camera actually died. I uh, pulled a few of these pieces out. Uh, I think that one survived. But then we also pulled out all these interior pieces, the belt strainers and stuff, the top light and all that. But what I've noticed is, so this is the other one and I didn't even know it's still on the car. So knowing that it's full of water, let's fucking somehow get this down and away. There. This one's full of water as well. Yeah, look at that. Look how rotty that is. This car was fully caked on the water. So, all of this dirt, that's sediment. That's not from sitting around, that's from actually being flooded. But when you look at this roof liner, you can see. Like, there's leaves and shit coming out of the roof liner and like genuine dirt like that's fully been underwater like this this car has seen 100% better days so as, as you can see 2002 Subaru WX STI now this car is pretty cool like I said pretty near and dear to my heart as a kid I had a, a uh, toy RC car one of these and it's always kind of been a car that I've loved, around a brand that I've always loved. I've always loved Subaru as well as STI. I know they're a couple of shit, whatever, I, I don't care. I, I love my Subies. I've got my three. I've got my Spec B STI, now 2002 Bug Eye STI, and I'm over, I'm over the moon about it. I'm so excited. So, like I said before, a bit of a brief overview on the car. Uh, like I said, 2002 Subaru Impreza WRX. Bought off a guy named Michael. And sadly, the spot that uh, I picked it up from, that area actually was uh, hit by massive floods recently. Huge rain uh, and flood water came through and pretty much wiped half the town away. Um, and sadly, that was the case for Michael. So I wish you like a speedy recovery and kind of getting back on your feet with everything. So when I rocked up, uh, we rocked up with a trailer. You saw this thing parked on the grass, uh, kind of just abandoned, really. And as Michael came up and we started talking about it, brought some parts over and he was really helpful a team that was not too much taller than where that was uh, and I asked him what it was and he said yeah so that's the last remaining part of my house and it's, it's pretty it was pretty rough to see so it was good to be able to kind of help out by taking this off his hands and giving him something to kind of watch as well as you guys to kind of watch uh, this series go along and this STI get built from the ground up pr pretty well from bare shell there's nothing that's going to be kept on it with an OEM one. So, I'm pretty keen to get into it. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, sorry, it was a bit of a short one. Just a quick reveal video showing the, the car off and how I got it and, and uh, skull dragging onto the gravel behind me. Hopefully, you can tune in next week for the next video. But otherwise, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with the channel uh, and help support the channel. Unreal. Have a good afternoon, guys. Margaret, is that you? Yeah, mate. Yeah, no worries. Just uh, jump in the back. Make sure you don't slam the door too hard. Yeah? Yeah.
Yeah, no worries, champ. Your chariot awaits, Margaret. Cheers, boss. Your door's not shut properly. Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. There's a special way to do that. 